So I've gotten requests for an extension kit to be built for the Ender 3 Pro and Ender 3 version 2. And this is pretty much the kit except for uh, the original carriage. You would use your own original carriage, but uh, you would basically attach it to uh, this extrusion, which is connected to the bed. And the bed, of course, would have uh, the heat pad on it. Um, I'm still waiting for some parts in order to make this all happen. Uh, for one, uh, I'm waiting for the hammer nuts for this to go on, but also I've been having a lot of problems finding uh, a supplier for the bed itself. And what I've done instead is I've talked to someone who is willing to have the beds uh, built and uh, basically CNC drilled all the holes so that it's easy to just get it and pop it all together. Uh, so you would buy the bed from them separately. Uh, here's the heat pad that would be for it. Now I have these heat pads. These heat pads are currently 110 volts by 650 watts. And I did that in order to avoid using the uh, 24 volt conversion from the power supply. Uh, but I'm looking at other options so that if you want to do that, uh, it won't heat up as fast, but you might be able to then avoid uh, connecting it through a solid state relay. Um, but for those of you who do want to, I'd love to know. So what should you want? Do you want to use a solid state relay and use 110 watts and sorry, 110 volts and get it up very fast? Or do you want something that's say like, I don't know, uh, 300 watts and 24 volts and heats up a little slower? Let me know what you think.